everyone, John Henry here, SlingshotFuturist.com, and welcome to the Market Mindset, where we take a look at the psychology behind the moves today, so you can better understand it tomorrow. And today, we're taking a look at the Euro currency futures. Now, the Euro has been bearish for a little while now. Uh, we started off the day pretty much in bear mode and have been selling down ever since. Now, unfortunately for us uh, poor seps that can't trade the uh, the two in the morning session, right, the European session, uh, we have to wait until eight o'clock to start off the day. Now, waiting until eight o'clock, we have overall movement is relatively lackluster to start the day off. We're kind of in a range, not really a whole lot going on. Uh, we're putting in a little bit of a base. Now, the bears obviously still own this market. We're forming a descending wedge. We have support underneath us that's kind of holding the market up. We have to wait for that to get out of the way. Buyers try buying into it. They try buying into it. They try buying into it. None of the attempts work before they finally show up with a beautiful bear bar closing underneath it. Now we're likely going to see the buyers start giving up. They realize, okay, you know, I've been trying to pick the bottom. It's just not working. Uh, I'm going to get out, right? And sellers uh, start flooding in. Both buyers exiting, becoming sellers. Maybe they didn't want to be. Uh, but also sellers looking for a breakout continuation lower. And you see them pile dry below in that beautiful bear candle down. Now, a lot of sellers, they may approach that thinking, well, do I really want to jump in on that first attempt lower, right? Being the first one to the party, as they say. Um, a lot of traders won't want to do that. They'll be waiting for a slightly better area of interest. We start getting some bull bouncing here, but notice all of the wicks on this very, very weak. Now, that's not a reason to become a seller, but it is showing that the buyers don't have any conviction. It's more likely buyers who bought earlier that are trying to get out. <laughs> Every time it lifts up, they start exiting more, trying to reduce the amount that they lose on those pops higher. Then we form this little, uh, this little setup right here. We have a beautiful bull bar, right? Now, buyers who are trying to pick the low, they're going to see this as a potential attempt, right? They've been trying to buy down here. It worked for a little while. Buy here worked for a little while. Buy, buy. Okay, these aren't starting to work very well. Maybe they're just trying to trap the low, right? They're completely ignoring the rest of the trend of the day, but they will try to buy into this. I consider this a weak trade. Uh, low probability doesn't mean that it's not a viable trade, but they better be looking for some big targets because that's the only way mathematically that's going to make any sense. Uh, and in this case, well, they have a beautiful bull bar. Buyers will buy above that, and I would consider those weak buyers more likely than anything else, and it ends up turning right back down into a monster bear bar, and that, my friends, is a trap. We have the buyers who are buying above it, and their stops are going to be below the lows, below the lows, and they're going to be whipped out much sooner than later after a big bear candle like that. Sellers who are waiting for a secondary reason to jump on in, that is their secondary reason, and they begin selling as well. So not only do you have buyers who are selling out on a stop, once again, you also have sellers who are flooding in knowing that, hey, we have buyers trapped, now's a good time to get that break off uh, and break down to the downside, and that's exactly what happens on that big old stop run before we start seeing a correction back up. Now again, even though we are moving into lunchtime session, sellers still own this market, but we know that we're probably exhausted. Look at the latest moves down, right? We had a big blow off and it went nowhere for, what, four hours, five hours? We have the same thing here, a big blow off on the bottom. We're probably going to be range bound. So sellers, instead of selling here or selling here, they're going to be looking to sell high, get the best price that they're able to get, right? Sell those swing highs, sell a bull trap up here, trying to sell at a better price and then drive down. We're going to lose interest with sellers selling too low because there's just no room to make any money. So paying attention to the context of, of the market, of course, is very important, but we are in a very strong downtrend. And at some point there will be a decent correction and you better believe that sellers are going to be jumping into that one as well. But overall, just a really good training day on understanding the trend and going with the trend and knowing when to hit the gas pedal and then when to back off a little bit, right? Right now, we're backing off a little bit. Let the market correct, try to find some better entry points, and then try to drive the market lower. But overall, again, that's going to do it for this one. Hopefully you learned something. Hopefully you found it interesting, a little bit entertaining, maybe something to add to your tool belt, and we will see you all next time.